Good afternoon, Colonel Country, and welcome to another episode of Colonel's Corner. On today's episode, we'll be recapping the Wilkes University football team's 42-40 win over Albright College in Week 6, and looking ahead to the Colonel's Week 7 matchup against Delaware Valley. Our guest today is head coach John Jock. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Adam. Now, Coach, Saturday's win was our closest margin of victory, winning by just two points to move to 5-0. and What were your initial thoughts immediately following the game? Uh, I thought that we did what we needed to do to win. You know what I mean? I think sometimes it's not always pretty, uh, but as long as it ends with a W, that's all that really matters. Um, our kids really had a lot of resiliency and a lot of fight at the end of that game, and when the defense needed to make a play, they stepped up and made a play. And Zach Neshiwak came up with an interception that kind of sealed that game for us. And the offense went over and got the last first down and was able to take the knee. So um, I think it just shows that they're a much more mature team this year than they were last year uh, and that we've come a little bit of a long way uh, from where we were 18 months ago. Now looking deeper into our Week 6 matchup, after Albright scored to go up by two touchdowns just before halftime, freshman Nate Whitaker took the following kickoff 85 yards with seven seconds left to kind of shift the momentum to our side. How important was a play like that lighting a fire right before the break, not to mention that we got the ball back to start the second half? I think it was huge. I mean, that changes the dynamic of the entire second half because we were able to go out right after halftime and score again and go up by one point. Uh, and that changes what they wanted to do, I think, a little bit overall. Um, it was a big play. Nate had a great game, all game, at, at returning kicks, and then did a great job playing wide receiver for us as well. And he's been a young guy that's been contributing for us since week one. You know, And we've got a lot of those freshmen across the board on offense and defense. Uh, and when it was his turn to step up and make a big play, he took that on his shoulders and made a really big play for us. Now, continuing with special teams, it's usually an overlooked part of the game, but we saw how important it can be. What have you seen from that unit so far this season? Uh, the kickoff return team's done a very good job. Uh, Coach Cruz is working with those guys really closely, um, and schematically, uh, I think we've schemed some things up to give us an advantage and create field position for our offense. Um, the points that you don't see from the kickoff return are when we started a drive on the 30-yard line, the positive 30-yard line. We started a drive on the positive 45-yard line. So they created a lot of field position for us to go down and get short fields and have scores in that football game, and they've been doing that for us all year. Um, on the flip side of that, uh, we saw – our kickoff cover team hurt us a little bit with two kickoff returns that went for touchdowns. And those guys, I think, had been laying very, very strong up until that. At the same time, it just goes to show you got to come every week and you got to prepare and you got to do the little things correctly every week. Otherwise, you'll have some slip ups like that. But we'll bounce back this week and they'll be in a good spot. Now, looking ahead to week seven, we head into this week's matchup with major conference implications against number 16 ranked Delaware Valley. What has been your message to the team so far this week during practice? Uh, we don't ever really focus on the opponent the whole time. We focus on what we're doing. We focus on our plan and what we need to do to be able to go out and get a win. Um, and I don't think it drastically changes who we're playing. You know, we need to control the time possession. We need to not turn the football over. We need to win the special teams battle. And we need to run the football. If you can do those things consistently, you can be in every game you're in and you can beat very good football teams. Delaware Valley is a very good football team, but we need to focus what we're worried about first and foremost. Now, building on that a little more, you already kind of talked about what we need to do to win. If you go into a little more detail about yeah. kind of what we saw in the game film, and then build into what we need to do to come out with a victory this week. I think defensively we have to get off the field. Um, I think we can't allow their big explosive plays. They've had almost, I believe, 25 touchdown drives. Um, and I think all but seven of those are less than eight plays. You know what I mean? So those are large explosive plays. Um, they're very, very exotic in their formations. And they do a lot of things where people are – offset and then we do a lot of things on four by ones and some things we don't see every week from teams uh, so we need to be able to get aligned and execute within our defensive schemes if we can do that and limit big plays I think that'll give our offense the ball back and then that'll give us an opportunity to win the football game I think that offensively we need to control the clock we had the ball for 40 minutes last year in this football game uh, we had a chance to win the game in the fourth quarter. Uh, we were down, I believe, on the two-yard line on fourth and two and missed an opportunity to go ahead uh, in the fourth quarter, and we got it complete in the red zone. Uh, that's the other piece. I think last year we missed a field goal. We were two of four in the red zone last year. We can't settle for field goals. We have to score touchdowns when we're in the red zone. So those are the biggest two things, I think, to me, uh, in controlling this football game and putting us in a good situation to win at the end of the day on Saturday. Wilkes University football welcomes Delaware Valley University to Schmidt Stadium in a Week 7 matchup of undefeated teams. Kickoff scheduled for 1 p.m. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this week. Thanks, Adam.